Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are continuing with the citation series. This series is especially made for researchers and in this series we will be learning about EndNote citation styles. In today's lecture, I will be talking about different aspects of EndNote citation, how to modify, how to do different changes in a particular reference style. If you do not have a particular reference style available on internet, then how to make your own style. So everything we'll be talking about today and this will be a comprehensive video after this video i will be also making videos separately for a particular task but in this video we'll be talking about in detail of citation modifications using endnote software so for that what i have taken i have taken a particular file where i have already put a few references now i will be changing those reference style and I'll be talking about different options that those are available on EndNote. So you can see I am here at EndNote. I have already mentioned if the EndNote is properly installed in your software, in your computer, then you will be getting an option EndNote here. If you are here, then you will be getting those options. I have already talked about this insert citation, how to put particular citation at a particular location. I have already talked about changing reference style. This is now at ACS Omega style. I can change this style. I have also talked about how to download citation style and put in the uh, library of different styles in, in your C drive or where the software is installed. So all those things I have already mentioned. If you have missed it, you can go back to my previous videos and you can get the information. Today I will be talking about different errors like you can see in this particular citation style I see there is a problem like after number there is a specific gap I don't want this gap because it does not look good so what I need to do I need to make it like this but if you have say 500 citations in a review paper then doing this for every uh, for single citation will be difficult furthermore if you change the i mean if you add or delete any citation it will again go back to this automated style so it will be very difficult to handle this citation if you do anything manually when you are using endnote and hence today i'll be we'll, we will be learning about those aspects so uh, now i go to endnote software and let us uh, let us see all the things available in, i mean all the options available in endnote i will only i will only be talking about the things which are required as of now but you should know everything about a software but sometimes it is difficult you do not learn about every aspect of a software you only learn about the things which we require so for this case for the endnote citation style few things are very important like uh, first we see about this style so this is a kind of nomenclature so you can see about the style it is written the style is in ACS Omega uh, the category is chemistry publisher is American Chemical Society so all those information you do not require much when you are doing citation so we skip it just for your information I told you then we come punctuation so what is it we will not be talking about today because we rarely use this option today we will only be talking about the options we require frequently like page numbers okay so few options are available here you can see you can read it and uh, from this reading you can understand what is the task of all the options if you check a certain option according to that the style will change like initially it is written like don't change page numbers okay so don't change page numbers means now uh, i'll just go to see this is the citations already included in this library and i have already talked about this information so when you go to pages like yeah this page information is there 3512 i go to another citation you can see here page number range is given like 71912 7200 this is the information about the page numbers 
Now when we put the citation, then either this number range comes or the initial page number comes or the final page number as per your wish or as per the requirement of the journal reference style. So here I will be going to our word file where we have taken style as per ACS Omega. In this case, you can see the ACS Omega prefers to have the range of the page number. But suppose if it would have been the first page number only, then how to change this? That I will be showing you today. So now uh, I was there in a different window. So uh, how to go to that window that I will be talking about. So you go to edit, then go to output styles then go to edit output style okay so i was there in this page now i also told you how to come to this page initially i missed it so you just uh, do it once so that you can understand now i want to change the page number i want only the first page number okay so i click on show only the first page number so you check it and you just save it because otherwise it will not understand so the save as option is enabled you can save as a new name or you can just re rename it i mean just overwrite it so i save it now i go to here then go to update citation and bibliography see initially it was a range 171 to certain page number but now only 171 is showing okay so there are other aspects also i will be talking about everything then i come to journal name so in this journal name there are multiple options use full journal name abbreviation 1 abbreviation 2 abbreviation 3 what is it like i already mentioned suppose there are certain journals which has certain short name or abbreviated name like journal of uh, like nano research uh, not that one suppose nature communication the short form is nature nat dot com dot okay something like this so you can search it on the internet what is the short form but i guess it is uh, nature dot com okay sorry nat dot com so i want this one i don't want entire name because in journal it requires a short name abbreviated name now I want to automatically change it. So what how to do that? I have also mentioned it in the last lecture. But again I will be talking about it. So you go to the option tools. Then open term list. Before that you have to cross this part. Now go to tools open term list. You will get a journal term list. Okay. Now I want to change suppose this lab chip lab on a chip so the short form is lab dot chip so you can find this information on internet now what is the abbreviated name but for the time being I am not showing you uh, I am not going to google to search it whatever is there in my mind I am just putting it like nano letters this would be something like nano l e t t dot something like this if i am doing a mistake just you can change it later on suppose uh, another i will change nature communication say this would be n a t dot c o double m dot might be this one i have changed it changed it so you so likewise you can change all the journal names okay and after that you close it then again go to yeah i was talking about the idea so initially i go to edit output style edit scs omega i was there in the journal name so this abbreviated one option is abbreviation one option is enabled and in the term list we have put the abbreviation so now if i just update the bibliography then you can see uh, nature communication should become it's not taking 
yeah it has taken so that nature communication is coming from some other library file maybe that's why it has not changed but you see the nano letter has changed i i will show yeah see this one it has become nano lett uh, then we changed another lab chip we change right let us search it l a b chip l a b dot was yeah see the lab chip has been changed because we have given the abbreviated name now what if we select this option use the full journal name even after putting the abbreviation in the term list then again you do a save you have to save the style then update bibliography you see lab chief has become lab on a chief because we are putting the entire journal name so this is how you can control it now again i put abbreviated one save it go to the word file you look at this lab on a chief again it will become lab chief see so this is how you can actually manage now I go to the other options which are required. So this part is very important. Today we will be talking about this bibliography part. Because all the options are available there only. Now in the bibliography, if you go to template. So the template for all the kinds of referencing is given. So you can put reference of a book. You can put book section reference. You can put some edited book journal article magazine newspaper patent and all thesis can be given as a reference so there are multiple types but we generally put citations of either a journal or a thesis or a patent so we'll be much concerned about this journal article so you can see there are certain things written so initially the author will come then a comma then this dot means a space i'll just show you if you can see it, there is a dot. If you put backspace, the dot will go. Then if you put a space, if you type space bar, then one dot will come. So here, a dot means a space. Then you can see the title is coming. Again, after the title, there is a full stop. So after the title, full stop will come. This is about magazine. Let us talk about journal article. Yeah, author, comma title full stop then the journal see journal is there given in italics so it will come in italics in the uh, citation style then year year is in bold so it's it will come in bold uh, volume issue and pages okay now let us check journal name should be in italics see journal names are in italics because in the style it is given in italics uh, your year is in bold so let us check whether we can change it or not so what i do let us make the year unbold okay so control b control b yeah so i have made it unbold let us save it and also journal let us make it non italics so just select it and control i just save it then you change the i mean update the bibliography see what has become the journal names see anguente came in it has become non italics then the year also became normal it is not bold here so let us go back to the original state so it would be control i and year would be in bold let us again do it save it and again update the citations so it will come something went wrong let us save it again save as save yeah replace it now update so the citation uh, the, maybe it requires some refresh 
so let us check once again let us update once again if it is not coming let us change the style yeah i have changed it to acs applied material and interfaces then again go to acs omega yeah it has not come because of uh, some interfacing problem uh, let us save it with another name say save a copy not this one i go to edit reference once again edit acs omega i was there in the template see in the template it is still unbold that's why it is not showing so let us make it sorry uh, let us make it italics and here let us make it bold control b now let us try to save it yeah we have saved it i guess it will work now yeah see it has worked okay so this is how you can actually play with it so i have talked about this article now i'll be talking about i missed something i guess citation number template bibliography okay i was there in the layout see in the layout there is a an arrow symbol arrow means long gap or tab but i don't require tab as there is a tab it is coming like this there is a space between the number and the starting of the author names so what i do just remove this uh, backspace remove this one two dots means two spaces one dot means one space so let us uh, keep it like this again save it then update it if you update this will the space will be gone see this is how it worked okay so if there is a space automatically then you know how to do how to change it now i'll talk about other options like short orders i'll not talk about it will come some other day yeah there is some good options like authors names are given like this after in between there will be semicolon and uh, 100 to 100 there will be comma so some instructions are given so you see in between authors names we have semicolons see those are the semicolons in between authors names as it is written there semicolon that's why this is coming and there is an instruction if three or more authors then put it all let us see if we do it it works or not so is there any paper having more than three authors one two three four yeah this so this one only okay so let us try to do it so i made it if more than three put it all let us save it it has saved i guess again update it so it should become it all see the articles which has more than three authors it will become at all and if it is not more than three then it will not become at all like any example if i can show you yeah this one no at all see because less than i mean not more than three authors okay so this is how you can modify the but let us keep it as it was for the time being and save it so author names how to how to write the author's name the instructions are given here let us see how it is written initially it is written uh, yang w dot so this instruction is given here only i'll just show you suppose somebody's name is smith jen so first author is smith jen other authors is this same same format but in some of the journals the first author name might be uh, differently placed i mean differently written so you can change it so in the drop down you will see there are many options suppose my name is shirshendu mitro so i can write it as shirshendu mitro or i can write it as mitro shirshendu so 
this options are given see smith jane jane smith you can put comma in between your surname or the main name or you can remove the comma so those options are given and the initials it is given like a dot b if uh, i mean if smith jane so s dot j so some instructions are given in some of the author name format the how to put the author name uh, might be it is given here how to put it yeah this is the author names instruction so this is how you can change it now i go to uh, those options are rarely used in the footnotes template yeah so today uh, i will not be talking about the other options because those options are rarely used uh, so we talked about many aspects now suppose the idea is some journal has newly come and the endnote style is not available on internet but if you see reference style from a particular journal article then you can i mean understand the reference style and after that using these commands you can actually change the reference style and make it as per the requirement so don't worry if the endnote styles are not available because you can anyway do it so this the today we discussed comprehensively entire options of endnote but in the next videos we'll cut it down we'll make short videos for a particular task so if you have to do a particular task you don't need to uh, hear our entire video you can go back to the short videos and you can get your work done so uh, today i stop here and thank you very much i request all of you to subscribe to my channel and uh, send uh, these links to others who need it thank you